What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get the achievement The Steel Has Been Brought. Now, this is for Glory of the Draenor Raider, and it's also how to get Aknor Steelbringer, the uh, follower. It's going to be level 100 follower, uh, epic. And so anyway, it's from the uh, from the fight, Flame Under Kagraz, obviously, in Blackrock Foundry. Now, this instance just came out today. Well, I'll explain one thing. You have to keep Aknor Steelbringer up for the entire duration of the fight. He can't die during the fight. And he's a real pain in the ass, because, I mean, as you guys can see throughout here, I mean, he's just hopping and popping all over the place. Now, you can handle him a couple of different ways. Uh, you can have an off tank, like just have somebody go tank spec and just tank him off in the corner of the room and just forget about him. Obviously, that kind of, you know, takes a player out of your raid. And so since this is a very new instance, at least at the time that I'm putting this video out, that might be an issue. But towards the end of the expansion and, you know, just kind of pretty much at least a month from now, that's probably going to be the best strategy. You can also have a paladin with Righteous Fury uh, tank him. But he basically hops and pops. As I said, he's hopping and popping around. And whenever he jumps around, he'll hit people and he'll knock them back. As you can see, that just happened to our hunter. And also, as you can see, our hunter, Jägermeister, who's like some pug, I think, what he did there is he gets to circle around him and uh, it's like molten torrent and you have to run into at least some sort of large pile of people because it is an explosion and it's split between all the people that it hits. So just make sure a good amount of people, at least five people, are inside the little, uh, the little circle whenever the fire hits you. And I'm going to be talking about a little bit of the mechanics as well because uh, this is a new fight. And so anyway, uh, Flamebender also summons two different adds, these Cinder Wolves. Now they have to die at the same time. And if you ever played Diablo 3, they have the same thing as the Fire Change debuff. And they also do a Frontal Cone Breath. And so make sure that as a melee, you're not standing in front of them. And also you're not standing in between them. One, uh, one add is tankable by the, the tank. And the other one uh, fixates on a caster. And they switch off occasionally whenever one takes too much damage or something like that. And so the main thing that really matters here is that they die at the same time. Outside of that, it's not really too big of a deal. Flamebender also, as you guys can see, puts like these fire lines down. They're mainly inconsequential and they don't really do that much damage. Whenever she reaches 100 energy, what she's going to do is she's going to do a firestorm thing. And that's where having Aknor up is really kind of a pain in the ass because he's going to be knocking people back. Because a lot of times you want to channel like a tranquility or some sort of healing cooldown or something like that. And then whenever Aknor or like, you know, stay in healing rates. And so then Aknor is going to be jumping, jumping around, knocking everybody off the, uh, off the pile. Now for us, he didn't really do it to us too many times. As you can see, even on normal mode, it does a pretty good amount of damage, but... Either way, I think that, yeah, right there, see look, everybody got knocked back by him, but it doesn't didn't really end our day because the fire the uh, the firestorm had already ended. Anyway, uh, we're going to cut right here because I died, and uh, at the end of the fight, it's pretty much all the same. And uh, also, like, the main thing here, guys, as I said before, is making sure that you just keep him away from everybody else to keep him away from incidental cleave. He, can, he has like 5 million health, and so it's not like he's going to die if somebody breathes on him the wrong way, but at the same time, you don't want to have him getting cleaved down for no reason, especially because you've got to cleave down the Cinder Wolves as well. And so that's why it might be a good idea to have three tanks if you've got more than enough DPS and healing to do it. Uh, this was like, we had people like, nobody knew what the fuck to do in this, uh, in this instance here, or at least in this run. And so... Uh, Obviously, it wasn't really perfect, and so Aknor is pretty low, but it's not really too big of a deal, as I said. Like, even with this this level of failure, it's still going to get done. And so, again, uh, the main problem whenever Aknor is, like, really kind of annoying is whenever the Flamebender reaches 100 energy and she does the Firestorm. Outside of Firestorm, uh, there's not really too much other trouble that you're going to have uh, with having him alive. He does very minimal damage, and the knockback is, is mostly just annoying. Uh, Flamebender also summons those little swords that are flying around. And they're kind of just like walking around like little ravagers. And uh, you just don't want to be standing nearby them. It's actually pretty easy to avoid. Also, those fireballs come down in the melee. And so you want to make sure you're not getting hit by those either. Other than that, this achievement should be pretty easy to do with any decently geared group. I would say at least 670. Uh, obviously, you know, give or take depending on coordination. But the difference between doing this fight normally and doing it with the achievement is just, it's very small. And as you can see, like, we had this, like, I think it was, like, a Moonkin who kept dotting him up, like, the entire fight. Like, I was about to kick him out of the group, and uh, we still got it done. And there it is right there. The the, uh, the steel has been brought. And look at that. I got him with Scavenger and uh, and High Stamina. And so that's not really too bad. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty glad about him. Anyway, guys, that's really all it takes. Again, just make sure that you don't kill Aknor Steelbender. You can do a number of different things to keep him out of the group, but just make sure he doesn't get cleaved down. But he does have a good amount of health anyway, so it's not like he's going to die instantly. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got. Thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe.